I'm done, done making, making Overwatch, Overwatch videos. videos. I'm sorry, sorry to my fans, fans that only watch my Overwatch videos, but please, videos, but please go, watch go watch my other videos. videos. I put so, so much work, work into them, and, and they're, they're honestly way, way better. better. Came, came to this, this decision, decision when I didn't play Overwatch for a year. All jokes aside, to the people that did like those Overwatch videos, I really am sorry that I just kind of stopped making Overwatch videos without saying anything. I got tired of the game, and I felt like that would have come across in any Overwatch video I tried to make. To those of you that had no clue I even made Overwatch videos, yes, it's true. That being said, I still owe whatever channel I have to the game. Even if I don't see it in the fondest way now, I've still got a tender spot for it. So I thought, since it's been a year, why don't I hop in and see what's new? Maybe after seeing what's changed, I'll feel different. And it's broken. Okay. Horizon Luna Colony. <laughs> Called it! What's the plan? Uh. So, uh, basically. Monkey? Okay, so, uh, basically. I'm <laughs> monkey. So, basically, he's trying to be monkey, bro! But I'm monkey! So, uh, basically. Monkey. I'm monkey. <laughs> 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 Monkeys. Monkey. What? So I hadn't been keeping up with the game at all, and I was kind of curious to see all the new characters they added. So when I got back, I was thrilled to see there were that there were three new characters since I left a year ago. I hate the British, Bridge, and Hamtaro. The more I played, the more I realized that very few things had changed. Okay, well I see the loot boxes are still garbage. Even the Halloween event was pretty much the same as before. Honestly, more than anything, I'm just confused as to how this game has held on this long with so few changes. It's good, te technically. Everything is polished, it feels tight, everything works. It's just the same question mark. I guess I'm having fun, maybe? If this game were a feeling, it'd, it'd be the feeling of getting a sandwich at Subway that doesn't taste terrible. Like, eh. Sure. I do owe a huge thank you to this game, and I had many fun times with it, with my friends. I can still remember some of the goofs and gaffes that were had, and I'm gonna be honest, it's kinda nice to put myself in those memories again. It's pleasant to take a stroll back through memory lane, but I could see how someone who doesn't have the same connection to Overwatch I do could return, play a game, and then not touch it again. Ever. Which is sad, because a piece of me does want to see this game do well. This feels really weird to say, but my experience revisiting Overwatch has been almost offensively neutral. I can't get mad because it feels like not enough has changed, and I can't get excited because there isn't a whole slew of new content to look at. It also hasn't been long enough for me to get nostalgic, so I just don't know what to feel right now. This is weird. I, I feel weird.
So speaking completely off the cuff here, just going off script, I had a different ending planned for this video, but as I was looking over the footage I collected and editing with it, the more upset I got that I didn't enjoy revisiting Overwatch as much as I thought I would. I'm having a really hard time putting into words just how strange this feeling is. The closest way I could put it is if you were to leave your house for a year and return and find everything was almost exactly the same to an uncanny amount and and maybe just a few things had been moved around but you don't know who moved them around or when they moved around you just know they moved and so you're walking through your house and the familiarity becomes alien to you like it's almost artificially familiar i honestly don't know how to end this video um